It's a TV series seen around the world, but critics say it may be encouraging U.S. troops to engage in torture. Let's go to CNN's Carol Costello. She's in New York with this story. What's going on, Carol? Oh, you know, well, if it's hard to wrap your mind around a TV show influencing professional soldiers, but there are some who say it is and it's dangerous. And an advisory to our viewers, although 24 is a fictional TV show, the images from the program we're including in this report might disturb some of you. Torture as a tool. It's used often and effectively in the Fox TV counterterrorism drama 24. Force me cease. That's 24's good guy torturing his own brother. Jack Bauer, the tough, sensitive, undercover operative, justifies his actions to save America from Islamic extremists who have just detonated a nuclear bomb in Los Angeles. That the fictional hero would torture is disturbing to human rights first. It worries American soldiers want to be like Jack. Why do you suppose a soldier in Iraq would want to be like Jack Bauer? Well, Jack Bauer is very seductive. He's a hero. He's always right. He always wins. He saves the day in the end. And while that sounds far-fetched, Ken Robinson, a CNN national security analyst who served in special operations units, including the CIA, says 24 is becoming a problem. The United States military is concerned about it because uh, they've started receiving evidence that soldiers in the field have been impacted by it downrange in Iraq utilizing uh, techniques which they've seen on 24 and then taking them into a environment in the interrogation booth. Fox declined to talk with us, but one of 24's co-executive producers in a podcast interview with TVWeek.com did respond. One would think that their, their training would be far more extensive in the real world, and they'd understand that this is a heightened reality. And from Kiefer Sutherland, the actor who portrays Jack Bauer, there hasn't been a torture sequence that my character has been involved with that there isn't some kind of a negative repercussion, whether it's emotional. Still, Danzig's group and a general from West Point went to meet with 24's writers to get the show to depict torture in a more realistic way. <laughs> to show the audience such tactics often don't work, are against the Geneva Convention, and hence have consequences. Danzig is hopeful a change is in the works. I'm telling you, those themes are hard to watch at times. We did get this statement from the Department of Defense. It tells us our policy is to treat detainees humanely. Our men and women who handle detainee operations are professionals. They understand the difference between a TV show and reality. Back to you, Wolf. All right, thanks, uh, Carol, for that.